What is going on guys, JJ here bringing you a how to install the Fallout 4 script extender video for you guys. This is a modding tutorial real quick, sort of a modding tutorial. Now, before we even get into this, some things you should know about the script extender. The first thing is, well, you probably generally know what the script extender is, what it does, and why you need it. If you've modded previous Bethesda titles such as Oblivion, Fallout, Skyrim, Fallout 3, New Vegas, uh, then you know what this thing is. You're going to basically, this is essential to heavy modding uh, later on in this game's life. Um... But another thing you should know is it's not really going to be utilized right now until the full creation kit or GEC or whatever it's called. The modding tools from uh, Bethesda are released in a few months from now. That is really when this thing is going to start popping up under the requirement tabs for mods. So as of right now, it's not really essential, but it is something good to have installed and prepared for your modding. Also, uh, so basically people who are new to Fallout 4 on PC, you're new to Bethesda titles on PC, you saw how much... Uh, there was modding with the previous Bethesda titles, and you said, no, I'm going to buy it on PC this time. I want to mod the hell out of it. You're going to want to follow this, and it's not going to be too hard to do, really. It's going to be actually really simple and easy, and you're going to want to need this uh, this F4SE later down the road. So the first thing you want to do is go to silverlock.org. Don't worry, all the all the links will be in the description down below. And you're going to need E7-Zip. Uh, download the 64-bit version. To, well, I'm, I'm guessing you have a 64-bit version because... I'm pretty sure you need a 64-bit for Fallout 4. I'm not exactly sure though, so don't quote me. But you want to download that, you know, install all that stuff, uh, and then you want to download the 7-zip archive file. So once you've done that, I have it placed on my desktop right here. I'm going to extract two because this creates another folder of the same thing. That way, it's not everywhere, all over the place. Uh, and then we're gonna just simply you can delete that. You don't really need that. And now here with our F4SE folder, go into it. You're going to want to copy all these and paste them into the Fallout 4 game directory. Everything except for the SRC folder. Now, well, if you do copy the SRC folder, nothing bad will happen. It contains a bunch of scripts and coding and all that shit. And it's really meant there for programmers and modders alike who want to use it, uh, use their files and their sources. Um, but we don't really need that if you're just here to just learn how to mod your game. So what you need to do is locate your game directory, which will most of the time be under computer. This drive, C drive, uh, program files x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you need to find Fallout 4, which is right here. All right, and this is your Fallout 4 game directory. Now, what you're going to want to do is go back to the Fallout 4 script extender, copy. Don't drag in place, copy and paste. It's because if you need these files later, it's better to just have them there, that we don't have to re download this and stuff. So, you're going to simply just paste it, and it's as simple as that. Now, what you're going to want to do is load through the Fallout 4. Uh, script extender what we're gonna do is create a shortcut place it on our desktop just for the sake of this video we're gonna rename it f4 oh not f3 f4 se done also if you want you can add a icon image I have it launched for Fallout 4's folder so right here okay apply okay and there we have it, F4SE with the icon and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be showing you that it works in a second. So just hold on. All right, guys. And as you can see, it says version F4SE 0.1.1. And then right here, it says the latest version of Fallout 4. Another way you can tell is if you type in get F4SE version. And then it ha here you have it. It's right there, 0.1.1 release. Uh, so that's how you install the Fallout 4 script extender. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.